the NFL has plenty of hilarious moments that leave fans in stitches in addition to its intense competitiveness and exciting touchdowns. Here are the most hilarious events that have occurred on the football field. Colts blue mascot and 2009 Minnesota Golden Gopher. The halftime mascot challenge in which several Minnesota mascots team up to play a scrimmage game against a young team was taken over by the Indianapolis Colts mascot. Blue entered the game and began to demoralize their outmatched offensive line by dumping kids for losses in the backfield. He would not back down, shoving and taunting. Is this better than the 2009 Minnesota Golden Gopher? The Golden Gopher used a strong stiff arm in 2009 that was similar of Marshawn Lynch's beast mode against the youth. In the present day, Blue appears to have followed a similar strategy. To stop this kind of behavior, a personal conduct policy has been implemented. Mike Daniel did not pee in his pants. Mike Daniel tackled the opponent with the ball on the ground during the fourth quarter. However, as he stood up, a lot of wetness in his crotch area was visible through his pants. A photo of Daniels claiming to have urinated in his trousers went viral, causing social media to explode. Later, Daniels informed reporters right away that it was sweat and that he most definitely had not urinated on himself. Randy Moss and Lookalike Fan Interaction A Pats fan wearing a Moss mask was seen by the stadium cameras leaping up and down and flailing his arms. The real Randy Moss joined in with some of his own dancing and gyrations, which were all seen on the Jumbotron after witnessing the mask-wearing fan perform. Fan and Randy Moss interact with a deluxe Afro wig step. Peyton Hendershot Kettle TD Celebration The Cowboys led 28-13 after Dallas tight end Peyton Hendershot scored a touchdown in the fourth quarter. Three teammates joined him for the celebration that followed, jumping into a massive Salvation Army donation bucket located beyond the end zone. Then, using the football as a prop, Hendershot and his teammates played a fictitious game of whack-a-mole in which they were the moles. Jake Ferguson, a fellow tight end, was ultimately brought down by Hendershot, who did so with a stunning fall. 59! 59! Turbo! Touch! Touch! Almost got you, 55. 180! Touch! Touch! Come blitz! Come blitz! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Tom Brady called for tripping play. Byron Leftwich, the offensive coordinator, decided to design a kind of trick play with a 14-3 lead in the third quarter. He had Brady run a go route down the left line with running back Leonard Fournette as the passer in the pocket. Brady mishandled a back shoulder pass from Fournette, setting up a hilarious scene by slipping right before catching the ball. The ball dropped perfectly into the hands of rookie cornerback Tariq Woolen of the Seahawks as he hit the ground. Brady, who remained on the ground, seemed to use his legs to trip Woolen after he completed the grab, ending the play. The quarterback for the Bucks was then flagged for tripping during the play. Jay McKinnon bumping into his teammate. During second quarter, Jay McKinnon ran towards the end zone but got bumped into Miley. He was unable to see his teammate, and because of this hit, he fell down on the ground. He lost the chance for a touchdown even though he was almost there. Baker Mayfield headbutting after Panthers victory. After the Panthers victory, Baker Mayfield repeatedly headbutted his teammates wearing helmets. As his teammates were leaving the field, you could see Baker, wearing nothing but a baseball hat, repeatedly hitting his head against them after a handshake. Mayfield didn't appear to care that almost every man he hit gave him a what are you doing bro look. Sam Mustafer's flop attempt. Late in the first quarter, Mustafer pushed Commander's defensive lineman Darren Payne after a first down play. Mustafer countered Payne's pushback with an incredible flip. Officials and other players intervened between the two players, showing that cooler heads prevailed. Mustafer had no desire to take the situation further. Rather, he was occupied with removing an Oscar-worthy disaster in an attempt to raise a flag. Sadly for Mustafer, there were no flags thrown for the flip. Austin's flop dead play after punt return. When Tavon Austin flopped and pretended to be dead after making a fair catch on a punt return in the fourth quarter, it might have been the most humorous moment between the St. Louis Rams and Seattle Seahawks. Austin made the first move by dipping into Heath Farwell before the collapse. To make the act of collapsing to the ground and seeming to be lifeless even more impressive, look at him on the ground lying there. Jimmy Graham's Hail Mary TD called off due to offensive pass interference. The game was tied 24-24. With a 47-yard throw to the goal zone in the closing seconds of regulation, Saints quarterback Drew Brees gave his receivers an opportunity to make a play on the ball. By some miracle, Graham made it down with the grab, but the touchdown was instantly erased from the scoreboard. The referee threw a flag, and Graham was charged with an offensive pass interference call after pushing 49ers cornerback Parrish Cox. 
Although Cox appears to have exaggerated the situation, Graham appears to give him a very little shove, but Cox takes off. It wouldn't be shocking if Cox struggled with his balance while attempting to get ready for a tremendous jump that would have knocked the ball down. Patriots Johnson Batamosi Oscar Worthy Dive Flops Robbie Anderson was not pleased when his third quarter catch took him out of bounds and resulted in a third and long for the Jets instead of a completion. Johnson Batamosi, the backup cornerback for the Patriots, was just going about his own thing on the sideline when Anderson let his feelings out on the ball. Anderson launched a furious outburst by throwing a ball which bounced back and struck Batamosi in the chin. Even though Johnson Batamosi tried his hardest to get a flag with a great flip, the two officials in attendance somehow thought that wasn't worth a penalty. These incidents bring to light the lighter side of the NFL and demonstrate that laughter is always welcome in a sport that's characterized by seriousness and accuracy. These incidents, which range from historic blunders to wild parties and mascot mischief, serve as a constant reminder that football is just as much about fun as it is about rivalry.